I want you to listen carefully and let it be the Spirit of God speaking through my mouth. I was in Israel when we had traveled there for several days, we had been around for about five or six days if I remember correctly, moment after my arrival in the country of Israel, I began to feel a little bad physically, I felt weak and I felt my body very exhausted, I thought maybe it was because of the trip we had made from Mexico to Israel which had been like an 18 hour round trip, I had a prediction already for a long time that I would get to Israel and when I arrived at that nation God would speak to my life more, when I felt weak I did not think and imagine that it would be that moment when the Lord would speak to my life and deal with my spirit, I had a deep sadness in my heart due to the great idolatry that I had seen in Jerusalem to see so much idolatry taking over Jerusalem, and I began to pray and said Lord forgive us we have forgotten you and that sadness that was in my life was the Holy Spirit that began to administer to me, the Lord began to speak to me audibly and said, Diego, I have brought you here to know the hidden treasures, but also to know the reality in which my people live, at that moment the Lord told me you must begin to ask for my mercy on your lives, because my judgment is already decreed my judgment is already moving on the earth, and there is no one who can stop my judgments, no one can stop my judgments just ask for mercy son, immediately I began to ask for mercy, the only thing that came out of my mouth was mercy, Lord have mercy, and at that moment I felt like I was in ecstasy for seconds, when I fell into this small ecstasy for seconds while I was praying, my eyes opened and I looked to the sky in the airs, I saw like a small cloud colored in gray, this cloud was small but then it expanded and got bigger and bigger until it covered the skies, and I saw it turn to a dark cloud that covers the skies, I saw that from this darkness and mists that cover the sky, a huge and massive bird that flew out of it, I can describe this beast, it was like a very very giant bird, I don't know how to tell you about the magnitude of that animal, but this beast was flying in the air and I heard the great noises of his wings and I remember that I was observing the appearance of this beastly bird that flew in the air, this infernal animal was red, its wings and its feathers were bright red like the red that you can see on these flowers that was bright red, but I can also see that its legs and his hooves and his long nails were black, and the head of that animal was golden in color, and when that animal flew and in the air, her fluttering wings released something like a gray breeze like a mist, and that breeze and mist were fallen on the inhabitant of the land, they were falling on the earth, that's where I opened my eyes and came back to my body, the Lord Jesus Christ was ministering to me through his presence and when I was being administered by the presence of God, the Lord told me, I have brought you here to show you this mystery, what you have just seen is a great principality that is ruling in the air, a great principality that is ruling over the spiritual environment of the airs, the spiritual environment of the airs has been clouded and disturbed, as the Lord spoke to my spirit what I could understand through the spirit is that the little mist and cloud that were grey were small initially, they got bigger because the heavenly forces that rule in the air in the world of darkness has become stronger, and their forces has gotten bigger, they have expanded their force in the air right above the atmosphere where they rule, this golden bird is taking over in order to blind the church, the spirit reveal that this great principality first move is to steal the spiritual vision of the saint, the beast is sending a spirit of ruin in the church, a spirit of destruction to destroy, ruin and tear down the church, this infernal bird is a great principality that released to the earth a breeze and mist, that ruins homes, families ministries, churches, pastors, he told me the church is asleep because of this great principality that is ruling over the air, but if the church rises up on the battle and a war footing and raises his voice to its neck and does not stop praying, the great principality will be arrested and neutralized. He told me tell the watchtowers to speak. The watchman that Jehovah raised it is time to attack and to arrest the great principality that is ruling the air over the winds. The Lord says to the Sardis church in Apocalypse chapter 3 verse 2, Wake up and strengthen what remains, which was about to die, for I have found your deeds incomplete in the sight of my God, he tells him be vigilant because one of the thing that the church of Sardis had lost was the spiritual sight. They had lost the spiritual sight and could no longer see the Lord, they could no longer see spiritual things because the church had been blinded by the world, 
That's why God tells him to be vigilant, this great principality that is ruling in the air is blinding the church, he is the one taking away revelation and spiritual sight from the church, and God tells us wake up be vigilant, we know that carnal sight cannot see the spiritual and the heavenly, but today God really wants to take away your carnal sight he want to give you spiritual sight, so that you can see the heavenly and eternal things, so that you can interpret the heavenly to the earthly. Praise God because spiritual views will be opened and blindness will be removed from your spiritual eyes, scales will fall from the eyes so that the people can have revelation and vision, lately when I have traveled by plane it has been possible to feel so much turbulence in the planes in the air then when I started traveling in the past I don't know. I felt this kind of movement on the planes and nowadays there are many accidents and plane crashes that have happened. When you travel in the plains lately there has been so much turbulence that it seems that the plains is going to fall down, the atmosphere above the air has changed, this great principality that is ruling in the air is causing planes accidents because the atmosphere in the heavenly has changed, I invite you to get up as a warrior of Jesus and arrest the air and cover your house and cover your children and cover yours and cover your family because the judgments of God are already operating on earth that animal that was like a bird of great magnitude, this principality flies in the air and what he released from its wings was cooling down and ruining the church and caused destruction to the family, to the homes and to the ministries above all blindness, the spiritual sight of the people of God has been taken and they are sleeping, the Lord speaks to me and tells me tell the church that it has to wake up, it has to return to the first works, tell the church that you have to go back to revival you have to go back to the beginning, tell the church it's got to go back to basics, tell the church it has to turn his heart back to me, I said to him, Lord, turn your heart to us, and the Lord ministered to me and told me I have always been with you I have always been there, the people are the ones that have to come back to me because I have always been there, you can see Jerusalem you see this nation of Israel is the same people that gave me their back thousands of years ago. It is still the same nation that forgot my laws, its lips were honoring me more than their heart that is far from me, I looked at people in the wailing wall with erroneous doctrines crying out to a god they don't know that they are idolizing, they are worshipping other gods, and the word says we cannot serve two masters because we will be left with one. He told me this church honors me with his leap but his heart is far from me, I want your heart to be close to me as my heart is so close to you but they don't realize how my heart is so close to them that they can't realize I'm close, I am near them, I am close to my people but my people have moved away from me, the people have to come back. He told me you have to bend your knees Diego and tell the church and the people to bend their knees and ask clemency and ask for mercy because my wrath is on the inhabitants of the earth, and my patience has run out. I was being ministered by God there in that time of prayer and God spoke to the people and that the people have to change their heart of stone to a heart of flesh, the people have lost sensitivity to the presence of God. He told me there are no tears on my altar anymore, there are no more tears in my house, there is no longer a sincere cry in my house, there are no more tears in front of me, God is speaking to the people to return to him and that his judgment is already here.